A 10-year construction effort bringing hundreds of jobs to Sault Ste. Marie is on track for completion in the summer of 2030. My UP's Jessica Gosca gives us a project update on the new lock at the Sioux. More than 75 million tons of commercial cargo transported on some 7,000 vessels pass through the Sioux locks every year. Should the larger of the two operating locks, the Po, face a six-month closure, it could cause the loss of 11 million jobs and a $1.1 trillion temporary reduction in the U.S. gross domestic product. Those are huge numbers, right? And that's just from a stoppage. And the Po, uh, as you may know, was, was built in the 60s. The locks are designed with a uh, what we call a 50-year design life. But what that means is we're, we're, we're past its prime. The Po is getting a little old. In 2020, a collaborative effort by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Detroit District and Ohio-based company Kokosing Albarisi Trailer, or CAT, began on a mega project to address that concern, the construction of a new lock at the Sioux, one equal in size to the 1,200-foot-wide, 110-foot-long Po lock, which alone currently facilitates nearly 90 percent of the country's iron ore passage. The new lock at the Sioux is scheduled to open in the summer of 2030. In a job like this, there are over 15,000 tasks that need to be performed. Not every one of these tasks is subject to a submittal, but there will be well over 5,000 by the time this project is finished. Now, on a normal construction project, uh, you might see a couple hundred submittals. Halfway through the three-phase, decade-long collaboration to construct the new lock, the project has reached a major milestone. The review and approval of some 2,600 of those needed technical submittals that detail how CAT's strategies will meet or exceed project requirements and specifications. In June, the Corps of Engineers Detroit District awarded the contractor $95.3 million for the remaining Phase 3 options, including a hands-free mooring system. As of May, the contractor has completed about $600 million worth of work. It's a nationally critical project in a small town in the UP. Right now, um, we're we're not necessarily at the the largest workforce that the the project is going to experience. I think we estimate a number somewhere in the 400s at peak, which will probably be uh, sometime next summer. But definitely some impacts to the the local community in in Sault Ste. Marie already. You can follow along with project updates online at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Detroit District's Facebook page, and school groups can request tours of the new lock construction site. Learn more about the project at myupnow.com. For MyUP News, this is Jessica Gosca.